Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's View and welcome to React plus LLM use case in finance domain playlist past 7. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watch my 75 hard Gen A challenge playlist, please watch and learn Gen A for free. I will put the link in the description. So here I show you the recommendation engines that are used to recommend products or services to users based on their behaviors and attributes. So this whole system will analyze your personal behavior on applications like Netflix, Amazon or Flipkart and can recommend you the product or services based on your behavior that you might buy. Okay. And in the finance domain, we can use those recommendation engines in many ways, like uh, recommending best credit card to the user based on their salary, income and debts as well. Or we can uh, recommend them the banking products or the lending products as well based on their behavior and the bureau data. So you can personalize user experience, segment them that can increase the customer engagement as well. Okay. And the recommendation engine is of two types. One is collaborative filtering and other is content based filtering. The collaborating filtering means you are compare with the behavior of other peoples and recommend you products combinations they buy. So let's just say if you buy milk, then they also uh, rec recommend you the bread as well because th that is the behavior that they get from the another person who might buy bread and milk together. Okay. And the second is content based filtering. You will get the recommendation based on the similar kind of products. So if you buy milk, then you can also recommend another milk based product like uh, butter or curd as well. So in that way, the content based filtering work. So Jenny can enhance this recommendation engine algorithms that are K nearest neighbor or neural network that, that are used in the uh, industry right now. But with the help of Jenny, we can use the embedding models that can generate the embeddings of the customer attributes and compare them with the products and uh, other users and build the hybrid or enhanced recommendation engines okay so as i just promised this is the next project from this list and i'm building this with the help of mistral fine-tuned large language model that is called zypher 7b llm so let's get started to build our project and build our gen a financial recommendation engine let's get started so guys here is our project that is gen a financial recommendation engine so we have a problem statement that we need to build a recommendation engine that can recommend the banking products to the user based on their demographic information along with the personal information and the bureau information using the Python LangChain and large language models. And so there is the complete methodology that we have to follow. We need to get the open source data of a company product that include the demographic and bureau data as well. That then we use the Python to load that data and pre-process that data as well and then we load that pre-processed data into the vector db by using an embedding model from the hugging phase because hugging phase embedding model is completely free and in this whole video or in this whole playlist i am using only the uh, open source free models only okay and then we build the rag qa chain that will help you to uh, build a complete rag llm based system that can take the data from the vector db and can uh, build your whole uh, pro project as well that can recommend the product to the user as well. Okay, so let's get started with it. So you can also watch uh, my other playlists from this link and you can also get the sev sev uh, 75 hard Gen A challenge playlist from this link as well. Okay, so first I need to install the Faker library because I need to generate the synthetic data here. Okay. So I just uh, generate all the things that I just need the age, gender, mental status, in income levels as well along with the education, occupation, residential status, dependent, uh, debt to income ratio or the credit bureau score as well. So these are the features that I just need because these are the features that you can easily get if you have the financial data with you. Okay, then I just uh, uh, store all this data. And then I also need to gen generate the inquiries data as well. That uh, what kind of inquiries that person did in the last three months or in the last 
six months as well. Okay, so that I get to know that what kind of product that customer is looking out for. Okay, so here I just complete the uh, whole uh, script here and build my whole uh, kind of uh, data here. And in that data, you will see we have all this information. We have customer ID too, and then we have the last three months personal loan inquiry, last three months credit card inquiry, or the mortgage inquiry, last six month variables as well. So these kind of variables will help you to understand that what kind of uh, products customers are looking for and based on their other information, are they eligible for that product so that we can recommend that product to them. Okay, so we need to also check for the eligibility here based on this kind of information that we have. Okay, so first thing is we need to build a content column here that takes all this data and store it into the uh, content uh, uh, column in the prompt for format. Okay, so that prompt format will look like this. Okay, and then we have to uh, install our LangChain and LangChain community libraries and so we need to convert this kind of uh, dictionary or this kind of a list into the documents uh, format and we will store all that data into the documents list. Okay. Then we need to install the sentence transformers because we need to load our embedding models as well. We need to install the Chroma DB and along with the bits and byte and accelerate to load the large language models that we have is the Zypher 7 B LLM. Okay, so here I first load the hugging face embeddings here and uh, then I just uh, put all that document into my vector DB un under the collection name of recommendation engine by using my hugging face embeddings. Okay, so now your all that data is stored in this vector DB. Now you need to load the large language model. So I just load the large language models in the quantized format because quantization is necessary here because if I don't quantize the model, it will take too much time to load and it is also consume so much space and memory as well. Okay, so that, that's why I use a quantization here. Okay, so once I uh, quantized it, and then I can load the model easily. So here you see the my whole model is loaded successfully. And then I build a query pipeline here because I need to generate the responses in the text generation format. So I pass my model, my tokenizer, max length and everything into this query pipeline so, so that I can use it to generate the responses. And then with the help of hugging face pipeline, I build a single function out there that can take the prompt and generate the response as well. Okay, and uh, this is a kind of a simple function that, that can just uh, format my output or input text as well. Okay, so here I just uh, check it with the small question here that is what is the recommendation engine and how it is used in the finance domain. As you see with the help of this function, it can easily colorize the question and the answer and format all the uh, response that it gets as well. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to check check it on our actual data. So we just build a rack QA chain and we build a template here so that it can uh, provide the best recommendation for the customer as well. So we just uh, build a retriever uh, function from with the help of our Chroma DB and it can get the best result out of it. And based on that best result, it can build a QA chain. That kind of a QA chain will take the uh, this kind of customers data and we pass this whole kind of customers data into the string format into our Q, uh, QA chain and it will uh, generate the response. So you see here, this is the response that we just get based on the data. The stable lending product for the first customer would be personal loan with the lower interest rate due, due to their low income level and very high debt to income ratio. Okay, very low income level and very high debt to income ratio. The second customer with the high income level with the low debt income ratio may be eligible for the mortgage or the home loan as well. So, okay, so in that way, it just uh, uh, provide you the complete answer in this format. Okay, so I hope you guys completely understand that how I build this uh, a single recommendation engine for the finance domain by using the RAG and large language models. So if you want to know more, 
you can also uh, build your own models with mul multiple kind of other language model and experiment with them okay and in our next video we will talk about the synthetic data generator that will generate the synthetic data for you so that, that you, you can uh, get your own certain patterns data that can use for your own products or own machine learning models or deep learning models as well okay and if you want to know more about uh, uh, prompt engineering, generative AI, data science and machine learning, you can watch my videos on YouTube and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.